have a radical equation and we notice that the radical is not isolated. So this is going to be our first step is subtract x. So we're left with radical x plus 5 is equal to 7 minus x. Now for us to solve radical equations, we have to get rid of the radical meaning. We're going to square it so that the exponent radical cancel out and we'll do the same thing to the other side. So x plus 5 now is equal to 49 minus 14x plus x squared. I'm going to rewrite this expression and put my trinomial in standard form. And just remember that this is optional. Now from this step, I'm going to combine my like terms. So I'm going to subtract x, right? And then I'm going to come in here and also subtract 5. So this is us setting our equation equal to 0. Now once I combine like terms, we have x squared minus 15x plus 44. This is the trinomial we now want to factor, and we're looking for two factors that will multiply to give us 44, add to give us negative 15. So 0 is equal to x minus 11 times x minus 4. When I set both factors equal to 0, we're going to get x is equal to positive 11 for the first one, and x is equal to positive 4 for the second one. And if we want to determine whether one or both of these are extraneous solutions, we just need to plug it back into the original equation and determine if it's a true statement or not. 